Hello guys, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. We will be doing um, what's triggering others about you and why. What's triggering others about you and why. I have three pals here. Pick from the pal that you're most drawn to. I have pal number one with the purple cords. Pal number two has the green heart, black heart, white heart. Pal number three is the pink cord. I give you a moment to take a look at the pals and pick from the one that you are most drawn to and we'll get started. What's triggering others about you and why? Okay, we'll start with pal number one. And it's the purple quartz. Okay, we have the Six of Swords here, the Empress, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. What's triggering others about you? Uh, with that Six of Swords, I feel like people are triggered about uh, you triggering others because you have moved on and they see you recovering from some things that had made you feel really bad, had you in a very bad way, and you are restoring your harmony. You moved away from these people. And it's triggering them that you no longer sitting in there, uh, you know, like that bad feeling or of feeling sorry for yourself. You have moved on past this uh, pain and hurt. You restoring your harmony and they see you happy again or you slowly dealing yourself toward harmony again. This is triggering these people because they want to see you still in that, you know, that bad situation or being hurt, uh, you know, from something that hurt you really bad. You have recovered from it and you have moved on, pal number uh, one. Also, I had another card under there. I didn't even see that under there. Card is sticky. The Empress. You are triggering these people because they know you are the Empress. You are very abundant, very nurturing, very down to earth person, and they want to see you still in that six of swords. I mean, um, you moved on with the six of swords. Past all this, you recover it. You healing from. Things that were meant to destroy your heart, you healing, you got harmony again. And they um they are triggered by knowing that you are a very abundant, uh, very uh, happy person, down to earth person. They very triggered because you you coming back to this empress or this emperor again that you always were and are. So this is triggering them that you're no longer in this bad state anymore. Yeah, it's triggering them that you came back up. You know, people are showing you generosity, uh, kindness. You know, you you sharing your wealth and kindness. Again, the empress does that. Very abundant, very down-to-earth, nurturing person that loves to give and help others, and they see this, and this is triggering these people. With the Ace of Swords, this is the truth. This is mental clarity. You getting the truth here. These people are triggered because you are you have restored yourself, your harmony again. You moved on. You turned your back to these situations. They know you the Empress or the Emperor. They used to seeing you being very, you know, down to earth, giving, loving, caring, like with that Six of Pentacles. You show generosity. You like helping others, your kindness. This is what's triggering others. And this is the truth with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, if you found the courage to move on. Yep, you found the courage to move on. 
the courage to move on. You turned your back to this situation. It's triggering these people. They still wanted you to be hanging around, moping around, feeling bad. This is the way these people wanted you to stay, and this is what's triggering them, that you are building your harmony back up again. You, you the old person you used to be. You showing kindness, love, kindness, uh, you know, you giving to others like you used to. You very abundant, down to earth person. You getting yourself back together, and these people don't like that. This is what's triggering them. It's a whole lot of gossip all around. It is really triggering these people a whole lot because they're doing a whole lot of talking about how you snap back, pal number one, from something that nearly it caused you so much pain here. This could be uh, the people that... This could be a variety of people. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a, a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's a lot of swords here. But these people are gossiping about you because they wanted you to stay in this bad situation or where you were when you went through this heartbreaking situation or something that treated, I mean, that had you in a really bad state and you recovered from it. Now you smiling again. You showing love again, harmony, giving to people, being around people, being abundant, happy, down to earth as you always are. And they are gossiping about this. <clears throat> Yep, you're no longer grieving anymore. And these people wanted you to stay in that, in that uh, like I have to keep saying, they wanted you to stay in their near death of feeling heartbroken and couldn't get yourself together and you have snapped back. And this is what's triggering people that you no longer grieving over this situation. Yep, you put an end to it. You completed this. You're no longer doing it anymore. You're no longer feeling, uh, you know, got depressed, got your head down and stuff like that. This is triggering people because a lot of people like to see people when they feeling really bad and they down on their luck, but you've completed this. You pick yourself back up. You restore harmony in your life. You the empress or the emperor. You always have been. And this is triggering them. You are happy again. You sharing, caring, and everything you was doing before, and it is triggering them. They talking about this. It's a whole lot of gossip. You moved on from this. You got the courage to move on. You left with the Knight of Swords. You left, and you turned your back to the Six of Swords. Yep, because you knew your self-worth. You picked yourself back up. You are the Empress or the Emperor. You know your worth. And it's triggering these people. Yep, you followed your instinct. You moved on. You didn't, you, I mean, you didn't want to hear this from these people. These people are gossiping. They like to see you at your lowest point of your life. You had a feeling about all of this and the people that was all around you. So you, you moved on. You followed your instinct. You moved on. You left the situation. You left everything behind. You moved on because you knew yourself worth. You completed a cycle with these people. You moved on to back to helping others, caring, sharing, smiling again, restored your harmony, and they are triggered by this. Yep, you know yourself worth. Yep, you put your needs. First, this time, you put your knees first. This lady is relaxing in the water. You took a break from everybody to find yourself again, to get back to the empress or the emperor that you are. You took a break from all this to, to reevaluate everything in your life. Your needs coming first now. And then others. You putting yourself first this time, and this is what's triggering these people. They see it. You living a life. Look at this lady. You putting your needs first this time.
Yep, you took risks before, but not this time. You putting your needs first instead of risk first. You were taking a risk on helping everybody else. And I won't say it's a risk, but, it, you know, whenever we... Sometimes people are ungrateful and you was taking a risk on a whole lot of things and this was triggering these people now that you snapped back when they wanted you to be like, you know, down in the dumps or not yourself, not the emperors or the emperor that you are, that they used to seeing and these people are, uh, it's triggering them. You took a lot of risk on people and relationships and things. Now you putting your needs first and it's triggering these people. They don't know you as this person. You are a different person than you were before. You know your self-worth. And you following your instinct this time. And that's about you. Putting your needs first. You following your instincts this time because you know your self-worth. Yeah, they gossiping about you. People are talking about you. Wish you were still in this same state of, of being heartbroken or whatever this was that took you down through here. Now you very, you very calm now. This is what's triggering these people. The Empress is very calm now. And this is what's triggering them. The emperor is no longer worried about things and people that don't serve her anymore. The empress or the emperor. She's putting her needs or his needs first this time. And they don't like that you come and getting yourself together and restoring your harmony again. Showing love again. Being the person that you are and, and, you know, and you sharing this with other people that appreciate it. Yep, you change courses on these people. These people are triggered. Like I said, you doing things different this time. You showing love and appreciating the people that appreciate you. And you're also, you putting your needs first. You change course on these people. Yep, you moved in a in a better direction. Like I said, a calmer, more calmer water position here. You change courses on these people. And you realize who they are. Your instinct lets you know who these people are that want you to be in a bad situation. You change courses from these people. Yep, you went on a new journey. Like I said with the Six of Swords, you took a new journey to happiness and harmony. You turned your back to all the chaos, confusion, things that have hurt you. You are the Empress. Loving, nurturing, abundant. A person that gives to others without wanting to receive anything but love and respect. You took a new journey. And these people are triggered by that. Yep, you took action for your life. To restore the harmony, the happiness in your life. And when you, you, you decided to uh, build your life back up with harmony again to show others who will appreciate you. And this is triggering these people that got bad intentions for you. It's triggering them. Yep. You have decided to choose caring relationships, caring connections with people, not only relationships, relationships too this time, but overall, and it's triggering a lot of people, the caring connections, the love you're showing to people that's going to appreciate the gratitude and the giving and the love and the generosity in every way, not only just money, in every way that the empress or the empress has to give. And this is the truth. They are the sources here. This is triggering them that you're happy. You're attracting people that's appreciating you. They seeing the love that you're showing and the love that you're getting back from others that appreciate you. This is triggering people. Yep. These people are very envious 
of that you have restored your harmony and you getting your life back again. The empress or the emperor. You restore harmony after a very heartbreaking situation or situations. And these people are triggered by that. They envy you because of all the love you showing and you receiving from others here. And what did you what you decided to do with your life? You picked your life, you picked your head up and you moved on and you restored your life again. Harmony, being around people that love you. And that you can show genuine love to that wants to love and wants to give it back. These people are sitting here watching the caring connections you have with others or your soulmate. They are, they are, they are very triggered by this. They thought that you was going to stay in this six of swords um, energy, you know, like. They thought you was going to stay in a bad situation of being hurt, depressed, and all that, and you pick yourself back up. That's what the Empress does. The Emperor does it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, this is why these people are triggered by you, power number one. You restore harmony again in your life. You recover from something that was meant to destroy you. You took action against your life. You said that you was not going to, this is not the person you want to be. You took a new journey, uh, uh, doing things different with people that love you, showing you kindness, love here with the Six of Pentacles. Care and connections. You moved on to calmer waters here. Calm is here. here. You followed your instinct because you knew your self-worth. You no longer grieving over these people in these situations. You done. You put an end to that. You completed that. You moved on with the six of swords here. And, that, and you restore harmony in your life because you did that. You took action against your life. Because you knew that you deserved better than this from these people. And these people are very triggered by that. they very upset. These envious people are sitting here watching you give to others and receive love from others. And they don't want you to be happy, which is sad. They had sneaky motors all the time here. The moon is right here. They was being sneaky. They were moving in silence, praying against your downfalls, that you would stay in this bad uh, mental state, and you came out of it. This was what triggered these people. Yeah, once upon a time, you was having a bad, hard time, and this is what these people wanted you to be because they was hating because you was the emperor's. Now the emperor's going through something, or the emperor is going through something. You can't keep the emperors down or the emperor. We took action. You took action. You got your life back and you showing these people. You know who they are. You followed your instinct and you moved on. Once you picked yourself back up, you know who they are. This is what's triggering them. You got your happy life back again. They know you the shit. The empress or the emperor. You can't keep us down. We we all go through things, but they couldn't keep you down. And they envious because they watch you get your life back together and you back on top again. So we're going to move on to power number two. What's triggering others and why? We're going to do power number two next. I'm going to get all this cleaned up out the way. My table is little here.
Okay, pal number two is the pal with the green, black, and white heart on it. What triggers others about you and why? Why are they so triggered by you? Okay, we got the Hermit came out, the Tower, Four of Pentacles. The Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords and the um, Hermit card. These, I feel like, pal number um two, what triggers others about you is like, um... It's like you spend a lot of time to yourself. You don't want to get out around people. It's like it's like you've been through a whole lot of pain or some type of loss or something, and people feel like, okay, now it's time for you to come up out the hermit mode or being all to yourself. Uh Maybe you lost something, uh, broke up. It's a break. It could have been a breakup or you could have be grieving over a loss of someone you loved here. But people feel like that, that you should be out of this state right now. You know, it's like they saying that you like you restricting yourself now like you just keeping yourself all bound up with this eight of um swords you're not coming out around people um you stay to yourself you holding on to you know it's like you holding on to grief here is what they trying to say here and it's triggering them that for some reason they want you to get out and they putting a time limit on this grief or pain that you feel, they feel like it's it's triggering others that you don't want to be around them. Basically, that you want to be to yourself. Yep, and it's like you holding on. It, it's, it's triggering others that you holding on to whatever that's, that was hurting you that you were grieving from. It's like... They putting a time limit on, oh, you should come out of this hermit, you know, mode now. Uh, it's time to let it go. You've been in your head too long uh, with the eight of swords here. <clears throat> it's triggering them because these people feel like, okay, they ready for you to snap up out of this. And you just, it's, it's like they saying now, nobody can put a time limit on how long somebody grieve for anything in any kind of way whatever the loss is, you know, but this is triggering several people here. It could be a Virgo that is triggering here. It could be uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Sag, or, uh, or Leo. It could be any of those people, but they feel like that you should be over this now. And nobody can, like I said, could put a time limit on nobody's grieving here. They feel like that, yeah, you just sitting there wasting away. Because dissipating is here. They feel like, okay, you know, like, you, you're not being around other people. It is triggering others that you isolating yourself. They feel like you wasting away. This is what people think. But maybe if you feel like that it's some type of trickery going on here. Maybe you feel like these are not the people you want to be around. Maybe it's just these people here. You know, <clears throat> you feel, I feel like you feel like it's some trickery going on here. Uh, especially that these people feel like 
you should you done grieved enough or you know it's time to come up out of your mode or whatever you going through you come out when you get ready but they feel like okay him or her just sitting there and wasting away you know because they don't see you yeah people feel like some of these people I feel like, with this being said, I feel like you watching out for trickery here. I don't know what it is about these people already because it's triggering them that you not coming up out of getting over your loss or your grief or whatever this is, or you just want to spend time to yourself. They not respecting it. I feel like they they want to fake show you gratitude in some type of way. If you're not showing a person gratitude or respect for what they're going through, it's triggering them so much that you're not being around, that you're not yourself anymore. They want to act like they want to show you gratitude, but it's a terrible moment coming here. Some people want to release some anger on you to express themselves because you haven't been spending time or you spending time to yourself because of the way you feel. You could be grieving or could be something you're going through that you want to spend time alone, but they want to act like they want to show you some gratitude here. Also, expansion is here. Hmm. I feel like mm, these people... These people, basically, you are triggering them because you not getting out of your hermit mode. It's like these people want to put a time limit on whatever you are going through because you are, you are isolating yourself and being in a hermit mode could be, a, like I said, from some type of pain, loss, or grief, or some loss that you have lost something, or you just finding out that these are just not the people that you want to be around, but it is triggering them so bad so when they do see you, they want, they want to air things out. They want to talk about this, why you haven't been around, why, you know, why you stand to yourself, you know. It, what could be is triggering these people is your growth. You doing things differently. I'm pulling out different cards here now. You growing from these people. These people want to run your life here. I mean, you taking time, you know, to grow within yourself and you want to do it alone. You've been doing it alone away from these people and they don't even understand that. Yep, you expanding your possibilities in life or the type of people that you want to be around and the type of life you want to live. And if these people, these people, they are not respecting you here and the way that, you know, the way you are doing things right now, they not respecting it and they don't, it's like they want to get, yeah, it's like they want to release a whole lot of anger or they thoughts on how you've been doing things. But you've been thinking about a whole lot of things for us, growth and new possibilities in your life. And these people, you may not even want them to be a part of this, the reason why you're taking time to be by yourself. Yep, you have intentions, on other intentions on what you want. Other than a whole lot of chaos and confusion and people trying to run your life and not respecting that, 
you are going through something or you was going through some things that you want to spend time alone. It could be your passion that you showing others and not them. They want to know why you, you know, when it comes down to them, what's triggering them, why you not getting out and not want to be around them. Like I said, you thinking about expanding your potentials other places with other people doing other things, your growth. You focusing on that and that's triggering these people because they really don't. You, you got other intentions outside of being around chaos, confusion, and people that don't understand how to respect what's going on in others' lives. I think you you just this is what triggering others. You deciding to move on and do your own thing in a different way. Your growth is showing, and this is what's triggering these people. They see you expanding probably with others, doing things with other people, but not with them. You showing passion. You got other possibilities here, but it's like you turning these people down. Maybe because you realize their intention are not good intentions here. To me, it seems like that these people are inconsiderate people of what you were going through. And you looking into us, other possibilities for friendships, relationships, and maybe you showing passion when it comes down to others and they watching this from a distance. Because it looks like you haven't been spending much time with these people. You have pulled yourself back, staying in the hermit mode all to yourself here. Yep. Yeah. And they think you sitting over there wasting away. It's some, it, yeah. Yeah. Now you are a thinking woman and you're thinking about other possibilities for growth here. Growth, expansion. That's what you're thinking about. You're not just th sitting here thinking about these un inconsiderate people when you was going through all this hardship and, or whatever you was going through, loss, pain, a job, maybe a person you really loved in your life. Maybe you was going through a breakup and they was very inconsiderate. They feel like time is up on this grieving and, you know, staying it to yourself. You know, people can disrespect others when it comes down to a time limit on things we should grieve about. Nobody can say when it's taken. You, okay, you've been on that long enough. It's time for you to get out there more. No, it's respect. And you decide to go with growth. You growing. You know, you've been thinking a lot. This is what's triggering these people. The thinking woman now. The growth from you. The thinking woman. You thinking more now. You stand to yourself thinking a whole lot. Yep. Thinking about expanding and expansion with somebody that's worth all of this. And this is what's triggering them. You doing it, but not with them. And they see it. Yep. Blossoming abundance. This is what you thinking about. The life and the friendships that you can have where people appreciate you. This is what is triggering these people. Your growth. Your abundance. Your expansion with others, they watching this, but you just not doing it with them. They seem to think that you're in a hermit mode, and this was triggering them, that you being all to yourself. Yep. The goddess of the moon, this is what you thinking about. And they can see that you look different, you glow differently, but you still not want to come out and be with these people. And they they expecting a they they planning a tower moment here. Several people they want to talk to you about you know that you stand to yourself, but you glowing differently now. Your mindset is different from what it was that it than it was before. This pain, this loss, this grief, maybe you had to do it alone because these people here, uh, maybe they left you to yourself and you had a lot of time to think. I got to reevaluate my relationships, my friendships. 
who I do things with, you are glowing differently now. And this is triggering these people. You recognize the deceit. You recognize it and you pulled yourself back and you stayed in the hermit mode to yourself and they feel like, oh, she just self-bonding or he self-bonding himself. He don't want to snap up out of this that, they, that you went through. But you realize who your true friends was or who had your back. So now you are growing and it is triggering these people that they can't come back into your life. You're not letting them back into your life because you're thinking about other opportunities and other people in your life. Abundant, abundance, blossoming abundance. They see this. And they want to have a moment with you to be able to tell you something when you went through all of this and they feel like that they weren't considerate, understanding, then show too much caring about it. They see your growth now. Yep. They was acting like they want to come back and show you some gratitude, but watch out because these people want to have a towel moment with you. Watch out, pal number two, but this is the reason why others are triggered by you. Because it looks like you did it alone without no support. And they was very inconsiderate. And you decide now to do things differently. You got a different way of thinking now. And these people are triggered by that. Like I said, watch out for the trickery here. They triggered. And watch out for the trickery because they acting like they miss you, but it's going to be a towel moment that they want to confront you with, power number two. They triggered by you because you healed alone. Nobody wants to respect the idea of how long it took you to grief and now you're getting yourself back together, thinking about other things, other people that we appreciate you because the deceit card is here. These people were being had trickery, deceit, and they want a towel moment. They want to be able to tell you about yourself for staying gone too long and being by yourself. People kills me with trying to put a time limit on how long you should grieve on something or how long you should be over it now. You know, the smallest thing to some people is a really big thing to a lot of us. You know, people just can't, can't just put a time limit on it and they didn't respect you here. So look out, power number two. You got some people being very triggered by your past on what you did different until you got yourself together, but you're growing now. You recognize these people, and you're not coming up out the hermit mode with them. Don't look like it, because they still waiting for you to come up out the hermit mode. All right, we're going to move on to power number three next. Okay, pal number three was the uh, Rose Quartz. What's triggering others about you? The High Priestess came out, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in Reverse. The Magician, this is good. And the Devil card came out. What is triggering others when it comes down to you? Power number three. You are the high priestess and they know it. You're very intuitive. You already know you have the wisdom, the knowledge. They know you already know that they are triggered by something. Uh, what uh, what triggers others about you?
what triggers others about you? It looks like you went through some type of hardship here and you snapped back from it. And these people wanted you to stay in this bad situation and stay down. Now they watching your manifestation with that magician card come through. They thought you was going to stay down in this financial hardship or situation. Maybe you lost your job. These people, these people wanted you to stay. And you know who they are because you're the high priestess. These people are triggered by you. It could be a, a Aries, Sag, or Leo. It could be a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Could even be a Capricorn here. But these people know that you are the high priestess. You went through some type of loss, financial loss. Maybe you lost your job, home. Uh, and these people weren't there for you. They want to see you in this five of pentacles here. But you have manifested You've, you've manifested to come back up and, and regain your life back again. Your financial, your money looking good. Again, these people did not want you. They triggered by they wanted you to stay down. They wanted you to stay down. And you have manifested. You the magician. You the high priestess. You, you look, you detach yourself and free yourself from this lack mentality and manifest it to life to come back up again. You the high priestess, you you manifest, you I mean, you got what you manifested. Yeah, you lost something in the past, but you know who these people are that want to fight with you, argue with you, want to see you in this five of pentacles. They want to see your downfall and you back up again because you, you the magician. You manifest the life you want. Yeah, we all go through things. These people, they want to see your downfall here. The downfall here. They want you to stay down and you manifest it to come back up. And, then, and you left these people very confused here. They confused now because they thought you was going to stay in this five of, five of Pentacles energy where you, you lost everything you had, your job, your home, everything, maybe your relationship, everything. But they didn't, they, they didn't know you was a high priestess because you the high priestess, baby. You very intuitive. You know who these people are that wish you bad luck. Pray for your bad luck. These people pray for your downfall. Some of these people were very dishonest. They portrayed to be your friends. They want look, they wanted you in a bad situation here. They wanted you to lose everything and it's bad to say. And you the high priestess, you get what you want. You know what you want. You had the knowledge, the wisdom. You're a good manif manifester. You the magician. These people was hating on you. They wanted to keep you in a bad situation. They was glad when you was down. These people, they see you now. You got joy again, which you used to have it, but they were they, they looking confused with this confusion card now. She done came back up. How does she do it? Yeah, because you the high priestess. Take this message, how it resonates, male or female. You the high priestess. You manifest whatever you want, and they wanted you to stay down. You got joy again. This is triggering these people that you have snapped back once again from some type of loss here. It was a financial loss. Maybe you lost your home, your job, and they were glad. These were devil-imposed people. These people want to see you at your lowest point. They wanted you to lose everything. They was glad. But now they seeing your joy again. So it's triggering them. You rejecting them all because you know who they are. 
when they call and want you to be the same person you used to be, now that I done came back up, you saying no, you rejecting them all. Yeah, they see your joy. Now they confused. She's not dealing with nobody no more. She Yeah, she did it. He did it all by herself. What were y'all when I was going through this hardship here? Maybe these people turn their back on you because they want to be in some arguments, talking bad about you. They wanted you to lose everything here. You manifested the life you wanted back 10 times that. You the high priestess. You know who these people are. Now they looking confused because you rejecting them. You got joy again. They were trying to be bittersweet, but they bitter as hell. Because you left them confused. Y'all left, they left you confused. They left you out in the cold when you was going through whatever you was going through financially. But you the high priestess. A great manifester. Once again, you back up again, but you know who they are. You leaving them confused. They tell me they bittersweet. No, they bitter. Period. Because they don't want to see you with all this joy. Once again, you happy again. It didn't keep you down long. But now you know who these people are and you rejecting them. They seeing your growth. Once again, you can't keep the high priestess down. At all. They seeing your girl once again. They don't like that. Yep. You spoke great words over your life. When you was manifesting everything you wanted. Because you are the high priestess. You were manifesting love. Kindness. All of that joy. Hope again. When you had. You was at the lowest point in your life. Well you could have lost everything. Here. And these people turned their back on you. They wanted this to happen to you with this seven of swords here. They didn't know who, who you really were. You spoke life over to your life again when you was at the hardest point in your life and you manifested and they watching you now. Now they looking bittersweet. They confused here. Could be how beautiful you looking now. Once again, beautiful body, hair. Look how beautiful this lady look. This is triggering these people. You happy? You the manifested the money, the everything you want back in life. You got joy again. It's triggering them that you happy. Your kindness is triggering them. Kind heart. Maybe you showing others love out here. These people wanted you to stay there. They wanted you to be done. They was wishing this lifestyle that you stayed in there, not the high priestess. You can't keep the high priestess down and the magician. We can manifest whatever we want. We already know the ones that wish that we stay there. That's the reason why we reevaluate things when we do before we come back up. We make our mind up. The high priestess and the magician makes our minds up. We know who's going to be there for us and we know who was there for us. Even if you couldn't help us financially, you don't lead a high priestess and a magician like that. And you're supposed to be family and friends. Now they see you showing kindness and others showing you kindness and they got to watch it. Yep, you at ease now. At ease once again. The high priestess and the magician is at ease again. No longer in its five of pentacles state. But they won't get a chance to come back in. They watching your growth now. These fake people. The devil is here. These fake devils. They thought you was going to stay in that five of pentacles. Didn't know who they were dealing with. Obviously. The high priestess gets what he wants. She wants. We manifest what we want. We even manifest the people we want in our life. We manifest those who are going to stay. And those who are going to stay are the ones that's loyal to us in the ways that they should and need to be. It's not all about money when a person going through things, when they losing things. It's that friend that stays there, that lover, that husband, that wife, family. That's what makes the high priestess. That's more than money can buy. Also, yep, what triggers them? You heal through this broken heart or losing some type of relationship or financial loss here. You heal that broken heart 
from them turning their back on you, trying to portray you. Want these fights, wanted to see you in the five of pentacles. They wanted you to stay down here. These people wanted you to stay down. You, you mend this broken heart. What's triggering them that you got this happy family and you happy again? People showing you kindness, joy, all of this is here. This is all about this. What you went through was heartbreaking from people that you thought that really loved you and should have had your back here, the high priestess and the magician. Yeah, these people preyed on your downfall. They wish you had stayed there. You have healed this broken heart, came back up. They see you with this happy family. Your family is happy again. You happy again. They seeing your growth here. This is what's triggering these people. And you had the patience because the high priestess was manifesting. I already had the, the wisdom and the knowledge. You waited patiently on spirit, God, to give you the chance to see through all these people that wasn't there for you. You was going to have these things again, but maybe it was some people that you need that have been moved out of your life, and you they did it. When they turned their back on you and wished for your downfall with the devil card, that you had the patience to wait on spirit because you are the high priest. You knew what you had to do at that point in time. Sometimes we have to do things over again. We lose friends. We lose family members. I'm not saying they are dead, but it's time to move on. You had the patience. You waited on spirit to show you these people and these things on how bad they're going to do you when you was going through the hardest time of your life. Now you have victory. And this is what's triggering these people. A happy family. You mend this broken heart from losing almost everything or to, from lo to losing everything to snapping back. Then you knew who these people were. You got confirmation on it, though. You manifested the life you wanted. You're doing things differently now. Your growth is what's triggering people. And you snap back. You men at these broken, this broken heart. You got the happy family now, joy here, kindness being showed. You spoke kindness over your own life. You manifested a life you wanted here. Calm life without this chaos and confusion. Calm is here. Calm people in your life. Kind people. Kindness is here twice. Love is here. You meant this broken heart. They broke your heart. Maybe you was in a heartbreaking relationship where you lost everything. You lost the relationship, the money, the home, the everything. These people turned their back on you. Now, they triggered because you have came back and healed yourself. You had the patience to wait on spirit, to listen to spirit. And you are rejecting these people. Now, they, they, can't, they can't handle this. Yep, they want to start some confusion here. Confusion is here. They are confused because this ain't the person that they once knew. You have changed your life since you went through all of this and you realized who was there and who was going to be there. These people wish for your downfall. They wanted you to stay in this state uh, where you had lost everything. And it's sad to say people prey on people's downfall. They would like to see you stay down without nothing, not even a place to live. And there's a lot of times are your own family members, your own best friends, every people like that. But you snap back, you change your life up, and they are mad. This, this is why these people are being triggered by you because you no longer where you were. When they, that when they left you by yourself. Now they want to come back around when they see that you have restored your life. Other people are loving on you. This is why they being triggered by you. You restored your life. And you no longer letting them inside of it because you are the high priest. You know. You knew before the tower moment happened. You knew before you... Whatever it was that you lost, financial loss, maybe lost everything, like I said. You kind of knew who was going to st stick it out with you. Now they mad at you.
because you no longer going to be their food for them no more. This is why they are triggered by you, pal number three. So if you guys enjoyed this message on what's triggering others about you, press the like, share, and subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching Miss T's Tarot. See you next time.